Hello everybody! This video presents the results of the model checking contest. It is a competition between model checking tools dealing with asynchronous parallelism. Asynchronous parallelism is an extremely large source of complexity. We must deal with it since today numerous systems, possibly life critical involving many participants, computerized or not, must reach a common goal without failure. A model checking tool explores all the configuration of a complex system in order to check for properties. I will detail this later. As a hint, just consider the galaxy behind me as being simple in terms of complexity compared to the number of configurations the competing tools have to deal with. So I'm glad to let you know how competing tools in 2020 were able to cope with very large complex systems. All results will soon be published on the MCC website, where you may already have a look on the past editions of the Model Checking Contest. mcc.lip6.fr This year, we celebrate the 10th edition of the Model Checking Contest. This event was created in 2011 aside the Patriot Conference with two main goals in mind. The first goal is to promote the development of experimental model checking tools to experiment theoretical issues and their practicability for real-world problems. This is also a way to enforce technological transfer by enabling the existence of robust tools. I will explain a bit more this point in my concluding remarks. The second objective is to progressively elaborate a common collection of models to serve as a benchmark for the community. This is important to let researchers compare the efficiency of new theoretical results and algorithms on a common and sound basis. Basically, a participating model checking tool must process examinations on models and provide results that are analyzed. So far, the model checking contest is handled by five researchers spread in several cities of France. Hubert Garavel from INRIA Grenoble and Love Messon Hila from Université de Nanterre are handling and maintaining models to be processed. Loïc Gézekel from Université de Nantes and Emmanuel Paviouadé from Université de Paris are dealing with the formulas which are regenerated every year for some of the examination tools have to deal with. They also produce smarter formulas every year. Finally, Francis Hulin Hubert and myself are handling the execution collection of outputs and the automated analysis of produced data. Models are provided by the entire community. This ensures a large variety. Diverse application domains and modeling techniques are represented, thus providing some neutrality to this benchmark. As an input format, we use Petrinets, which are suitable for representing concurrent systems. Moreover, there exists an ISO standard to represent Petri nets called PNML. This is the input format we provide in our benchmark. Year after year, our model database is growing and contains now 103 different specifications. Many of them are parametrized and can be derived into several instances having various complexities. In 2020, each tool was confronted to 1,229 variants of these 103 models. We call variants of a given model instances. Instances are a good way to observe how tools can cope with an increasing complexity of models. As I told you, new models are added every year. We call these surprise models because no tool was confronted to these models before. Thus, no strategy could have been elaborated for the situation they can raise. Other models are called known since they were introduced in past years. Of course, Surprise models bring higher scores than known ones. In 2020, a total of 10 models were introduced for a total of 211 instances. Let us thank Elvio Amparore, Frédéric Cristini, Silvano Dalzilio, Hubert Garavel, Eugé Krishna, and Wendelin Serve for providing us with these nice models this year. You will find information about our benchmark in the model section of our website, mcc.lip6.fr. Each participating tool has to deal with examinations on each model instance. 
An examination is basically a question. We have six families of examinations corresponding to functions one can expect from a model checking tool. The first family groups only one examination, state space. Participating tools must explore the full state space of the model system, all its configurations, and provide data about its size. The second family, global properties, gather five examinations, reachability deadlock, quasi-liveness, stable marking, liveness, and one safe. This corresponds to structural information about the state space. This family of examinations was increased this year. The third family, upper bound, also contains one examination. The goal is to compute the maximum number of tokens in a PetriNet place for a subset of places selected in the specification. The fourth family, reachability formula, deals with the evaluation of logic formulas applied to the state space. Such formulas may refer to states or to transitions, so this family gathers two examinations, reachability cardinality and reachability fireability. The fifth family corresponds to causal formulas expressed using computational tree logic, CTL. As for reachability, atomic proposition refer to states or to transitions. So two examinations are considered, CTL cardinality and CTL fireability. Finally, the last family corresponds to causal formulas expressed using linear temporal logic, LTL. It also groups two examinations, LTL cardinality and LTL fireability. The rules section in our website describes these examinations with more details. The submission kit describes precisely how tools do communicate with execution environments and also provides a formula manual. In fact, an interesting side effect of the model checking contest is that the XML-based representation of formulas for the reachability, CTL and LTL examinations is becoming a sort of de facto standard. This year, each tool was confronted to 13 examinations on the 1,229 models instances. So each tool was invoked almost 16,000 times. For each execution, a tool may report it does not compete or it displays results in a predefined format so that extraction analysis are performed automatically. Let us note that tools improve every year by being able to support more and more examinations, as you can see in this diagram. Over the years, a total of 27 tools have participated in the 10 editions of the model checking contest, and several of them to almost all the editions. It may be a challenge to beat these tools, which are now quite optimized. This year, we got seven participants. This is less than in the past years, but considering the problem raised by the COVID situation, especially in universities, this is a good score. So here are the participants for the 2020 edition. NPAC is coming from China and is an open source software package dedicated to complex distributed or embedded systems. This tool is mainly used for LTL model checking. It is his second participation to the model checking contest. Greatest Pen Medley is coming from Italy and deals with both qualitative analysis, which is evaluated here, and quantitative analysis, which is not. It offers a large variety of features and is the only tool to participate in all the 13 examinations of the model checking contest this year. ITS tool is coming from France and supports a large variety of backend engines, symbolic, SAT based, etc., etc. This year, an optimization engine has been developed to increase the global efficiency of the tool. ITS Lola is a mix of ITS tool and Lola, a well-known tool in this community, which is regularly on the podium, but could not participate this year. It is a hybrid between optimization techniques implemented in ITS tool this year and the Lola model checking engine submitted in the 2019 edition of the model checking contest. For us, such an association of techniques is really an interesting outcome of the model checking contest. Smart is coming from the USA and is an open source software package to study complex discrete state systems. It implements several techniques that were originally elaborated by their authors and have now spread and been extended by other research teams. Apparently, a large development work has been performed on Smart, which participates in many more examinations this year than last year. 
Tapal is coming from Denmark and is a tool suite for verification of Petri nets and several extensions not experimented in the model checking contest. Tapal participates in all the examinations but LTL. Finally, Tina Ted is coming from France. It participates in state space only. About two years ago, they introduced an innovative way to compute data about the state space by elaborating abstract states. I must mention a special tool called 2019 Gold. It is an hybrid made of the gold medal of last year for each examination when it was relevant. It is a way to see how the state of the art has improved since the previous edition of the model checking contest. As mentioned before, each tool is invoked almost 16,000 times within a time confinement of one hour or 30 minutes for global property examinations and a memory confinement of 16 gigabytes. Sequential tools are allocated one physical core while parallel tools are allocated four physical cores. A dedicated environment called BenchKit was created in 2014 to operate these executions and collect all the results from tools and data execution from virtual machines. To operate tools for the model checking contest, we need very large computers. Hopefully, there is a network of colleagues who help us by borrowing their nice machines for an exclusive use approximately four weeks a year. The first nice machine is Caserta, owned by the University of Twente. It is a 96 physical core computer embedding 2 terabytes of memory. Then we use Tajo and Ebro from Rostock University. Tajo also embeds 96 physical cores and contains 1.5 gig terabytes of memory. Ebro is a 32 physical core machine with 1 terabyte of memory. Then we have Octoginta 2, which is a 80 physical cores with 1.5 terabytes of memory, loaned by the University of Nanterre. Finally, we also used 11 smaller nodes from a cluster called Small from Leipzig at Sorbonne University. Each node has 12 physical cores and 64 gigabytes of memory. I would like to thank very much all these colleagues and institutions. Without their support, the model checking contest could not exist. Indeed, altogether, there were 127,816 invocations of the 7 plus 1, the 2019 gold medal, tools. This required a total amount of about 5 years, 9 months and 9 days of CPU. All these executions, including some consolidation while discussing the outputs with developers, took about 4 weeks of time in the real world. Let us now discover together the results of this edition, as many of you are probably just waiting for. For the state space examination, five tools did participate. The gold medal goes to Tina Ted, then Great Spain grabs the silver one, and ITS tool gets the bronze medal. They are followed by Smart and Tapal. Let us note that the 2019 gold medal was Tina Ted, and it would have been ranked second. So, its developers have increased a bit its performance. Let me introduce BVS for Best Virtual Score. It's a pseudo tool for which we collect for this examination and all the 1,229 models in sense, the best score among the participating tools. The objective is to have a rough idea of how far from a realistic objective the tools are. In this case, BVS is a bit better than Tina Ted this year. Let us now introduce the notion of confidence rate. It is computed using a subset of trusted values. Here, you can see that confidence rate for tools is very high, the lowest one being handled by the 2019 gold medal, but the updated version of this tool reaches 100% in 2020. In the table, right to the percentage, you can check the number of correct values among the list of trusted values we use to compute this information. More detail on how we compute this confidence rate can be found in the website at the rules section. The confidence rate is a way to estimate the confidence one can have in a tool. For the global property family of examination, five tools did participate. The gold medal goes to Tapal, then Great Spain grabs the silver one, and Smart gets the bronze medal. 
they are followed by ITS TOLA and ITS TOOL, which are very close one to another. There is no 2019 gold medal since many changes have been done this year to this examination. In 2019, it was reduced to deadlock detection only. This is probably why there is a large difference between the winners and some other tools which did not participate in all the examination of this family in 2020. We can also note that BVS is not so far from the winner. Let us note that for that examination, all tools reached a 100% confidence rate. For the upper bound examination, five tools did participate. The gold medal goes to ITS Lola, then Tapal grabs the silver one, and Great Spain gets the bronze medal. They are followed by ITS Tool and Smart. Let us note that the 2019 gold medal was Tapal, and it would have been ranked second, so its developers have increased a bit its performance. Here, the winner is very close to BVS. Let us note that for that examination, all tools reached a 100% confidence rate. For the reachability family of examinations, five tools did participate. The gold medal goes to ITS tool, then ITS Lola grabs the silver one, and Tapal gets the bronze medal. They are followed by Great SPN and Smart. Here, the 2019 gold medal was Tapal, and it would have been out of the podium, even if very close from the third tool. Last year, Lola was second, 400 points behind Tapal. Lola's association with the reduction system of ITS tool pushed ITS Lola's score about 700 points ahead of Tapal. It is a typical example of what happened several times this past editions of the model checking contest. Association of techniques can bring a large benefit to tools. Let us know that for that examination, the confidence rate is quite high, the lowest one being at 99.98%. For the CTL family of examination, five tools did participate. The gold medal goes to Tapal, then ITS Lola grabs the silver one, and ITS tool gets the bronze medal. They are followed by Grit SPN and Smart. Let us note that the 2019 gold medal would be ranked first about 150 points ahead of Tapal. But last year, the gold medal for this examination was Tapal 2, and the difference remains very small. BVS is also a bit farther from the winner than in the previous examinations. Let us note that for that examination, the confidence rate is quite high, except for one tool, for which it is below the threshold of 98%. As a matter of fact, Smart joined the CTL examinations this year, and we are sure they will use this large test case to solve these remaining problems. For the LTL family of examinations, only four tools did participate. The gold medal goes to ITS Lola, then NPAC grabs the silver one, and ITS Tool gets the bronze medal. They are followed by Great SPN. Let us note that the 2019 gold medal would be ranked second. It was Lola, so once again we can imagine there is a benefit of combining two techniques issued from different tools. BVS is at about 1000 points ahead of the winner this year. Let us note the high confidence rate for this examination too, even if only two tools reach 100%. Let us now have a look on the global confidence rate of this year's participants. In this table, all examinations are considered. The values are quite close to 100% for all tools. For us, this is a good proof to industry. Academics now have a way to show their tools are becoming smarter and smarter. Moreover, faults often come from a bug in the processing of formulas or in the translation of the XML format, more rarely in the engine itself. If you have a look on this chart, which represents the average confidence rate since this metric was introduced in 2015, you may notice it globally increases. The small decrease observed in 2019 was due to a new tool that had integration troubles. This is one evidence of the positive effect of the model checking contest on the software production of our community. Of course, aside these podiums that are stimulating for our academics, you can browse the execution themselves. Numerous information are provided on the website and can be useful for developers or scientists. For each examination, you can access a full summary providing the computed values, a correctness mask, and some flags about the results as well as the score brought by this execution. When clicking on the orange arrow, you can access the execution report and watch the traces captured during the execution. You may also access to the model performance charts. 
showing how tools compare from a CPU usage point of view or from a memory footprint point of view. From these charts, you can see how tools cope with parameterized models when parameters has an influence on its complexity. Typically, we see a tendency in the memory management of tools this year. A global allocation of most of the available memories is operated when the tool starts. Management is then performed manually to be as optimal as possible. Traces may also help developers to understand and reproduce what occurred in their tools in case of troubles. The tool resource consumption table leads you to a series of cactus plots, helping you to have a global view on the behavior of tools with regards to CPU or memory management. Separated charts are provided for known models, surprise models, and the wall benchmark. For each examination, you can access a comparison between tools with regards to execution time and memory footprint, expressed by means of scatter plots, as you can see here. On the x-axis, performances of the competing tools are shown, and on the y-axis, those of the challenging tool. The competing tool wins against its challenger for plots below the diagonal, and the challenger wins for plots above the diagonal. A color code shows when all values were computed by both tools or when the challenger computed more or less values than the competing tool. Finally, all disk images of the competing tools are available via our website, as well as the disk image of the volume containing models and the generated formulas. Remember, a new set is generated every year. Models and formulas are also available as a separated archive. You can also access to the raw data that is compiled to let us view results and also a summary file representing the execution data and results of all participants in a CSV document. I started this presentation by reminding you the main objectives of the model checking contest. Our first goal is to promote tools to experiment model checking on real systems, possibly issued from industry or complex case studies. This goal appears to be achieved. First, the model checking contest is now a regular rendezvous for the community. It also constitutes a strong benchmark tools can deal with to track subtle bugs. Typically, when a tool deals with an examination for the first time, it has a lower confidence rate, which is increased the year after. I would like to mention cross-fertilization between tools. Some main components, like the transformation of colored petri nets into equivalent place transition nets, have been shared by several tool developers. Some techniques and libraries have been exchanged or mixed with success as we observed this year for ITS tool and LOLA. So, the model checking contest, by giving visibility to tools and by enforcing their robustness and their technical aspects, helps to increase the credibility of technological transfer to industry. Similar situations are observed in other verification areas with other contests, such as SAT, SMTCOM, SVCOMP, the hardware model checking contest, etc., etc. This is a good trend for our communities toward reproducible science. The second objective is also reached. Our models and formulas are regularly used in papers since the beginning of the model checking contest. You can use this basis to enforce tools performance, track bugs, etc., etc. It is assessed by the growing number of references we find in scientific papers. A dedicated repository is also available to let you select subsets of the benchmark from model's characteristics, such as the presence of deadlock or the existence of source places, etc., etc. You can access it using the following URL, pnrepository.lip6.fr. All the results, charts, execution information, etc., available on our website are free to use for scientific purpose. Just go to mcc.lip6.fr. You can refer to it using the reference I'm displaying now. Feel free to reuse some diagrams if you want to. On demand, I can provide you the GNU plot script and data to generate them in a vectorial format instead of bitmap PNG. 
My last comment will mention a study we did last summer and which should be published soon, hopefully. We tracked the data provided by five editions of the model checking contest from 2015 to 2019. It shows several interesting information such as some tendencies in the way techniques are improving or being replaced by others. It definitely shows that the most efficient tools now combine a large number of techniques. They may operate or not according to the situation they face when checking a property on a model. If you have a closer look at the techniques tool claims to use on our website over the years, this is an evidence. Thank you for your attention. You are invited at the online meeting today at 4 p.m. Western European time. Please bring your questions and issues so that we could have nice discussions. Have a nice day.